Good morning and welcome to Kilbury Life on Wednesday the 6th of June. My name is Sancho from 6RB. And I'm Owen, also from 6RB. Today we're going to talk about Grade 5 camp and the dress up day. We will also have the joke of the week, into school sports results, the weather is an important date. So first up, the Grade 5s went on camp a couple of weeks ago and we sent Olivia, Shanice and Hayden to found out how they went. from 6 Hi, I'm Olivia from 6 And I'm Heather from 6 And today we're going to be talking about Grade 5 camp. I'm interviewing Miss Cooper. So Miss Cooper, if you were one of the students, what would your favourite activity be? I think if I was one of the students, the favourite activity would have been the giant swing. I think everybody loved that. They loved pushing themselves a little bit further than they thought they could go. And it was a pretty exciting thing for them to do. What do you like about the camp? I love the food. Sorry, we'll go again. <laughs> from 6 Hi, I'm Olivia from 6 And I'm Heida from 6 And today we're going to be talking about Grade 5 camp. I'm interviewing Miss Cooper. So Miss Cooper, if you were one of the students, what would your favourite activity be? I think if I was one of the students, the favourite activity would have been the giant swing. I think everybody loved that. They loved pushing themselves a little bit further than they thought they could go. And it was a pretty exciting thing for them to do. What do you like about the camp? I love the food. The food was amazing. The chefs were amazing. They catered for all of us so well. And the teachers got a few extra bits and pieces that was pretty exciting too. What was the students' favourite activity? I think in the end they enjoyed a bit of free time in their rec rooms. They were able to move between the two rec rooms. They were able to play with friends. They were able to meet some new friends that maybe they hadn't played with before. So I think a little bit of time to themselves to play freely, which they don't really get a lot of time to do that at school. So I think they enjoyed that as well as the giant swing. Thank you for your time. No problems, thank you. I'm going to be interviewing Alhan. Alhan, um, what was your favourite um, thing at camp? Um, the giant swing, because it was very high and energetic. Uh, what did you like most about camp? To, um, all the activities and... Yeah. What did you learn at camp? Uh, how to make a flyer and about the history of the plane. Um, what animals did you see at night? We only saw a few. We only saw a possum and cockroaches. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm going to be interviewing Chloe from 5DJ. So Chloe, what was your favourite thing at camp? My favourite thing was probably the night walk. What animals did you see? We saw um, possums and bugs. What was your favourite activity at camp? My favourite activity is probably the spider web because we got to pass people and get them to the other side. What did you learn at camp? I learned if you work together you get more things done. Thank you for your time. Okay. Today I'm interviewing Ms Thomas and I'm going to ask her what did the kids do that didn't go to camp? Okay, um, we had a great time with the children who didn't go to camp. Um, a few years ago they decided that children didn't, who didn't go to camp would not do schoolwork, we'd do a different program. And so some of the activities girls were uh, trivia afternoon or trivia night. The children went and surveyed other teachers and grades to find out their likes about things so like the family feud. We also did reading with preps one day, talent quest. And we also played some sport. So they were just some of the things that we did. It was actually fantastic fun. Okay, thank you for your time. I can talk, can't I? Looks <laughs> like all the grade fives had a good day at camp. Back to the studio. Wow, that sounded like fun. I wish I went. Wowie! Next up is our story on last week's dress up day. But first, let's find out what we'll be reading on this week's story time.
Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Now last Wednesday we had our dress up day. I dressed up as a teacher. I dressed up as a guitarist and I look pretty cool. Take a look. Hi, I'm Lily from 6 B. Hi, I'm Zach from 6 B. Hi, I'm Tiger, also from 6 B. Today we're going to be interviewing Miss Fakiwa, Riley and Gagi. Let's get on to the interview. Today I'll be interviewing Miss Fakiwa. So Miss Fakiwa, what made you come up with the occasion for dress up day? Well, it was actually an idea that the SRC members came up with, the members came up with. We got together one recess and they brainstormed all the different ideas for fundraising and this was the one that got the highest number of votes. What did you want to be when you were a kid? I really wanted to be a chef. What made you Do you plan on doing this annually? Well, this is, as far as I know, a fundraiser that has been happening for quite some time, so I'm pretty sure we'll keep it going. Is it important that we sponsor a child? I think it's important that we sponsor a child to give all children the opportunity to have a better future. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. With the dress up day. Tell us about what has happened in the dress up day. Um, everyone dressed up as what they want to be when they grow up and brought a $2 car in the nation. What did you dress up as? I dressed up as a hairdresser. I dressed up as a teacher. Who are we sponsoring? We are sponsoring our World Christian Sponsored Child. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an international dance star. I'm a dancer. A gaming YouTuber. A scientist. A photographer. A teacher. A uh, dinner for pizza. A vet. A teacher. I want to be a football player. I want to be a hairdresser. I'm a teacher. Basketball player and free player. Oh, football player. Uh, doctor or lawyer, either one, this is why I'm wearing my suit. Rock. A hip hop dancer. Rock. I want to be a sport teacher. A gymnastics teacher. A doctor. I want to be a spy. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a YouTuber. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye. Well, that was a blast. Good to see so many children participating on this day. So now it's time for this week's Joke of the Week. This joke is by Kirk from 5KB. My dog's got no nose. How does he smell? Pretty awful. <laughs> if you have a joke, pop it in the box at the office. Now let's take a look at this week's weather. Today will be mostly cloud with a top of 15. Tomorrow, light rain and a chilly top of 13. Wednesday will also be a top of 13. Thursday will be mostly fine and a top of 14. And Friday with a top of 16. Last Friday for inter-school sports, Coolie played against Brentwood Park Primary and here are the results. Football was a draw with 21 points each. In both T-ball A and B we lost. Soccer girls drew nil all and soccer boys won one nil. Our mixed netball team won 19 to 18. Netball girls lost 9 to 2, and our kickball also lost by 4. Great to see our year 6 students trying their best in preparing for Lightning Premiership, which is coming up really soon. Before we go, here are some important dates. Jump Rope for Hard Day is on this Friday. Hope you have been skipping in fundraising. And on Friday, the 17th of June, we have our school disco. Hope you've been practicing your dancing skills. So that's it for this week's episode. Sadly, we need to go. Bye. Bye.